uh, 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 talking about supporting candidates. The, the, uh, the Ohio Republican Party, frankly, has called everybody out in, in the Tea Party movement. Um, a couple of weeks ago, you had Jason Mock, who's the executive director of the ORP, go on Dave Yost's blog uh, after he, uh, you know, pulled that nasty stunt and switched races and, uh, and said, don't worry, Dave, they'll all just get behind you after the election, no matter what you do, just ignore them. Uh, you had Dave Johnson, the uh, Republican Party chairman in Columbiana County, uh, who was also a member of the State Central Committee, uh, go out in, in public and uh, send a really rude um, uh, email to a, a Tea Party organizer saying you people are nothing uh, without us uh, at the Ohio Republican Party. Uh, you have, um, uh, last night, you have Kent Moore, who is the chairman of the uh, Republican Party in Belmont County, also a member of the State Central Committee, uh, accusing uh, Seth Morgan and the people who run his uh, campaign all of whom incidentally happen to be evangelical Christians and very non-violent people of, of engaging in uh, violent tactics and threatening physical violence against county chairman and uh, state central committee members to attempt to get uh, party endorsements. Uh, you have party controlled blogs uh, like the Pullins Report coming out and uh, calling the Tea Party movement, uh, in their words, all hat and no cattle. And frankly, what, what's going to happen, and I'm going to go back to an experience that happened four years ago. Sandy won that primary against Jeanette Bradley in a massive upset. And after she won that primary, Bob Bennett, an incredibly vile man who was the chairman of the Republican Party in this state for 20 years, called the five biggest Republican uh, can, contributors to Republican candidates in Ohio and said, guys, and excuse me, you'll have to excuse me for using a bad word here, but guys, our bitch lost. Shut her down. We'd rather have a Democrat win this seat. It goes back to the whole uh, concept of we would rather keep control of a party that loses than lose control of a party that wins. You have a, a group of of bad candidates who everybody here has talked about for a long time. Paul Pfeiffer, uh, Mike DeWine, John Houston, um, Dave Yost, who was a nice man but now has become a willing dupe for the Ohio Republican Party machine. Dave, and, and you know, everybody here needs to support organizations like this organization and they need to support candidates. Okay, do we have any uh, other questions here? Back over there. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sandy. Yeah, we do have uh, another question on the floor. Get your and uh, first of all, uh, Cody, would you uh, come back up here? We practice what we preach. Today is Cody, Cody's 18th birthday, and this is his birthday.
I don't think so. Um, by the way, uh, Benigni County Friends and Neighbors, that's a very uh, unique situation. We were one of the uh, few organizations in Ohio that actually had delegates to the Tea Party Convention in Nashville that uh, got so much media attention last week. And I would like to introduce our two delegates to you and uh, give them an opportunity to uh, tell you a little bit about uh, what it was like. Um, 